Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. We are back with some Mary Kay in this video. It's been a little while since I covered Mary Kay and it just so happens that I was sent a new training video from the team that I have reacted to in the past. So we're just gonna go ahead and react to it and we're gonna get into it right after this disclaimer. Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin'. Okay, now that that is out of the way, we have one more piece of housekeeping to get through. And if you are not new here, then you know that you can go to the bottom of the screen, to the bar here, and skip to the part where it says reaction starts here. You can also find it in the description where the chapters are listed. You can click on the timestamp again where it says reaction starts here. If you are new here, please give this a listen at least one time. It will be quick and painless, I promise. I do not blur the names or the faces of the individuals that I react to in my videos. This does not mean that I am encouraging anybody to go and seek these individuals out and send them hateful messages or mean comments. Please don't do that. I'm sure these people are lovely in real life. My content is meant to be educational, but most of all entertaining. So let's all do our part and keep it that way. And with that, we're going to get right the f into it. On the off chance you're not familiar with Mary Kay, they are an MLM, multi-level marketing company, network marketing company, similar to a pyramid scheme, if you want to say that. And their product of choice is makeup and skincare. They have been in business for so long. Long, and most people know what Mary Kay is. So now that we have that tidbit of information, we're gonna get right into this training. We're gonna be talking about one of my favorite topics tonight, and that is juicing the lemon. Lemonade, it's fresh squeezed. What does that mean? I even wore a lemon colored sweater for you tonight. Mm -hmm. Juicing the lemon means that when we get to the end of a month, we wanna make sure that we're not already thinking about the month ahead. February is not over just because the clock tells us and the calendar tells us that it is the evening of the 27th at the time of this recording. We have two whole days left. And so I want you to know that learning to juice the lemon truly is an art. So I'm going to give you some very specific things tonight that you can employ, not just this month, but every single month. How many of you would love to make a few hundred more dollars profit in the next 48 hours? Anyone? Okay, good. All of you have your hands up. Well, I'm going to show you two things that I have been doing for a few months now that always work. They always work. So you guys, when I share ideas with you, you should know if you don't already that I never, literally never share something with you that I have not road tested myself. Why? Because I don't want to give you theory. I want to give you facts. I want to give you strategies. I want to give you a plan. So I'm going to uh, screen share here and jump onto our unit Facebook page. And we're going to take a look at these together. So when we're on our unit Facebook page, I want to remind you that over here on the right hand side, there's a magnifying glass. And so I'm going to go over to that magnifying glass and type the word double, two words, double dip. And I'm going to show you what I came up with. There are two things I do, one I do on the last day of a month and one I do on the first day of a new month. And so I just wanna show those to you because this is a way for you to start and finish well. So first of all, I call it double dip day because on the first day of a new month, I text my customers, or if you're brand new, people you'd like to have as your customers, that month's special deals. So here's an example of what I sent out on January 1st to my clients. It said, happy new year and happy double dip day. Choose two items from my January specials, 50% off for every 50 you spend on regular priced items today only. Note, you won't see these discounts online, but add your choices to cart and I'll do the math and assure your discount is deducted before your cart is charged. Happy shopping. And then I put my name and then I would, of course, put my personal website. So I want to make sure that you understand two things, you guys. Number one, where to find the monthly sheet every single month. And two, how this works. Let's remember that when someone places an order on your Mary Kay personal website, the company makes no assumptions about what you want to charge their card. It's kind of like having an executive assistant saying, oh, Tammy, you received an order. You'll get an email, but you must click on it and check out what it is. So when I have a client who places an order on my website on the first of the month, because of my double dip special, I pick up my phone and I look to see what the specials for that month are. 
and I see if any of the items in their cart are half price items. So let me give you an example. What I do each month is I save the special deals for that month. So here are the ones for February, and I'll show you in a minute how to find them every single month, but here they are. So let's say I received an order and it contained targeted action toning lotion and Fanorama mascara. Then I know that those are items that are on the monthly special deals. If I had offered my clients the chance to get two half price items, 50% off, for every 50 they spend, then I would look at the total order and make sure that excluding those special deal items, their order is 50 or more. And if so, they get two things half price on double dip day. Now let's talk about that. Why would we let people get something half off? That's our cost. We make no money on that. The logic and the strategy is that when someone gets the chance to buy something half off, they'll perceive that to be a great deal. They might not have been thinking of getting a time-wise repair facial peel, but when they see it's half off, they might think, you know what, I'll give it a try. And then- So for you to make more money, she's suggesting that you lose money? Sounds horrible. It's very interesting. I feel like Mary Kay consultants already miss out on a lot of income because of the nature of the business. So this just doesn't feel like a good idea to squeeze the lemon. And here's where the strategy kicks in. We know they'll love it. We know they'll use it. And then they'll reorder it at full price later. But- the company research shows that when people place a reorder, they're very likely to reorder only the items they currently use. In other words, they don't magically just think, I think I'll try something new today. This program is designed to get them to try something perhaps they've never tried before or reward them by letting them get something they already love half off. So if we look at the February items, here they are. One of the things I love is that every month they are different and you'll see that some of the items are what we call Mary Kay favorites and some of them are what we call or I call ancillary products, things that maybe they've never tried. For instance, they might not have ever tried a fragrance. They might not have ever tried the foundation primer or maybe they're always used to buying Lash Intensity or Ultimate Mascara and they see the Fanorama Mascara and go, what the heck, half price, I'll try it. That's the psychology and the strategy. So why double dip day? Because wouldn't you love to start the month strong? Remember, even though you're not making profit on those half price items, you're getting all the wholesale credit for them when you order them for your client. So if we go back to that screen share and look at that example I was just showing you, you will see that I updated that and on January 1st, I sent that text out to my clients and I had three people place orders in response to that text, totaling $350 in retail orders. Do you think it was worth it to me to have that double dip day? Heck to the yeah. So that is something I do to kick off the new month strong every single month. So she's also been in Mary Kay for over 20 years. She said this in a previous video and I've done a little bit of digging. So I know she's been in for a very long time. And to me personally, I don't feel like this is a probable outcome for anybody on her team because she has such a large customer base already from being in Mary Kay for over 20 years. And also I don't feel like that's a large outcome for her either for being in for 20 years years. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's very telling. Okay. Now, what I always do on the last day of the month is I send out the current month specials with a last chance deal. So I will send out a double dip offer on the February specials on the 29th, on the morning of the 29th. And it might say something like last chance to get these February specials half price today only double dip. Get two items 50% off for every 50 you spend on regular priced items. They're getting a chance to double dip on the last day of the month. That helps me finish my month strong with sales and gets me closer to prizes that I might be working on. Then on the first of the new month, the very next day, I send out another opportunity for them to double dip and get the new month's items half price. Now, if that's too rich for your blood, I would recommend that on the last day of the month, you just remind them it's the last day for that month's specials. And then if you're going to only do the double dip on one day or the other, do it on the first of the new month to kick off and launch that new month strong.
You can see examples of how I've done this back in that unit Facebook page. Again, click the magnifying glass and type in double dip and you will find some examples. The only difference between that and the last chance is instead of saying double dip, just put something like it's the last day of the month. It's your last chance for these February special deals. Don't overthink it. Put it out to everybody and watch the sales roll in. That is juicing the lemon and getting every last juicy drop out of the February specials, but it's also strategic because you're kicking off the new month strong. Last chance day and double dip day. Who's with me and will try this on February 29th and March the 1st? So you're probably wondering, well, where will I find that sheet? Actually, I'm not. Well, two answers to that. So let's go back to the unit Facebook group. I always post them for you in the unit Facebook group. So if I go back to the homepage for our Dream Believers group over here, just try typing in March and you could even put special deals if you want to. So here I posted uh, last March, this is a year ago, last year's special deals. But something that I put in there yesterday and I'm gonna scroll down the page and find it. Here we go. I put in a little sneak peek for you. It says, don't share with clients till 3-1. This is a sneak peek for you so you can get these deals in stock by then. So here are the March 2024 special deals. Now you don't wanna share them with clients until March 1st because you don't want them to hold their order until then, right? Right, but this is so you know, ooh, these are going to be things that I wanna have in stock because these are going to be the special deal offerings in the month of March. One of my favorite new things, and I'll zoom in, is every month there's a special eye palette and it features our refillable petite palette filled with four different Chroma Fusion eyeshadows. And every month they're different. So $42 for that regular price? What? What? Why are we acting like Mary Kay is Anastasia of Beverly Hills? No, absolutely not. And I know people have feelings about ABH, but that's my favorite eyeshadow palette. Excuse me while I rant about makeup. Oh, here she goes. The color pigmentation in the Anastasia palettes can't even be compared to the quality of Mary Kay. And I've tried Mary Kay products in the past and they remind me of wet and wild makeup. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with using wet and wild makeup. I have some wet and wild stuff that I use as well, but the quality of wet and wild is very much if you blink, the eyeshadow is going to fade away. And that is how I feel Mary Kay is, at least for me and my skin. And you're going to charge $42 for a four color palette when I could go to Sephora or even TJ Maxx and get something even better with more colors for potentially less if I'm getting it at TJ Maxx, which by the way, if you're ever looking for an Anastasia palette, always check TJ Maxx because I think I've gotten four from there. So anyway, that's just side tangent I had to go on. Even $21, no, no, 99 cents. Really, that is the deal of the day because they're getting not just the compact, but four eyeshadows. So that's really five items they're getting at half price, but we do it as one set instead of 42, 21. And I'm going to tell you, I've been selling a lot more of our full size pro palettes because people have been getting that look of the month and realizing, oh, I think I want to have them all in one great big palette. I see one of you has chatted and Marty was saying it's storming there. Sorry about her looks. We're not even noticing, Marty. Don't you worry. So this is the current one, you guys, and you can find it on the homepage. But something that I added, I believe in the chat, and if not, I'm gonna pull it up for you right now, is there's one link, one single link, where you can see all of the monthly specials all the time, and they're automatically updated. I'm going to put it in the chat here on our Zoom together for all of you with us live. Take a peek at that, and if you copy that down, that is where you will always find the most updated links. So right now, if you go there, it's already showing you the March link. And it's usually there a couple of days before the end of the month. So take a picture of that with your phone and you only need the one for the USA. It's vipelink.com slash M special deals. That's it. Vipelink.com slash M special deals. But Vipelink is V-I-P-E-L-N-K. So just take a picture of it with your phone and you'll always know where to find them 
Again, I try to remember to post them for you in our unit Facebook group, but if you have that link, you can just go click on that and you'll always find the latest one. If you were to click on it and it still showed February, try the next day. I know the March ones are there, but they're usually up a couple days before the end of the month. Okay, the next thing that's really important in juicing the lemon. Juicy, juicy, juice, juice, juice. And I know that some of you have trouble with this and I used to as well, but I'm just gonna tell you, you need to get over it. You need to put your goal out there, you guys. You need to tell your customers what you're working on. At the beginning of this seminar year, I was telling everyone, I'm taking my husband to Hawaii. I'm taking my husband to Hawaii. I'm earning a trip to Hawaii. My unit and I are working to be a circle of excellence unit. My unit and I are working for 650000 in sales this year. I kept speaking it and speaking it and speaking it. And then I felt like, have you ever felt this way? I've told people so much about my goal, they're sick of hearing about it. Let me tell you, you will be surprised. When I worked in television for a station here in Hampton Roads, we had a program called 10 on your side. And if you live in our area, you all know about 10 on your side. In fact, if I said on your side, what station? Everybody in the Virginia Beach area would say 10 because we know. Well, in 1993, when I moved here, that was a brand new program. No one was familiar with it yet. And my news director made us promote that 10 or more times in one 30 minute newscast. We had to find a way to weave in the language, 10 on your side, 10 on your side, 10 on your side. And we were so sick of it. And he said something I've never forgotten. He said, Brittany, just about the time you are tired of talking about it, other people are starting to get it. If you have not been telling your customers you're working to earn our all-star cruise to the Bahamas in November, if you have not been telling your clients you're working to be a star consultant, if you have not told your clients you are working to earn a gorgeous pair of silver earrings this month through our Soar Like Never Before program, then start talking about it. No, don't talk about it like that, please. Promoting something that is happening on a news channel is way different than talking about what you're going to do with the incentives or the money you earn from your job. That is totally different. For example, let's, let's just use hairdressers or nail techs for an example okay a lot of them are self-employed and are you know working toward goals they have a plan for the money that they're working to earn and they have a plan for the time off that they're working to earn you're not sitting down in the chair to get your nails or your hair done and they're like i'm really working to take my husband to hawaii and get myself some earrings uh so if you could tell anybody you know about my services that would be great that would be so off-putting if I sat down in a chair to get a service done like my nails or my hair and somebody said that to me. I'd be like, this is awkward. I want to leave now. No, just don't do it. That is not a normal thing to do. Promoting a service or something that is coming out. Okay, sure. That is something businesses do, right? But they're not talking about their personal goals with the money or incentives that they're receiving from their job or their business. What the f are we doing? When I was a brand new consultant in my first month in business, my director told me to share with everyone my goal was a power start, 30 faces in 30 days. I'll never forget. I ran into a friend in the grocery store and she said, hey, how are you coming with that thing? And I said, what thing? She goes, you know, that thing with like the third, the faces, was it 30? And I remember thinking, I can't believe she remembered and I can't believe she cares. But think about how infrequently you run into someone who says, hey, did I tell you what goal I'm working on? Nobody's talking about this unless they're losing weight, training for a marathon, or raising money for something. People aren't walking around sharing their goals, but we are. And so you guys, it really does matter. And I'm going to tell you to get over yourself because you don't know who you could be inspiring. When I hear Tammy or Marty or Karina talk about their goal or any of you talk about your goal, it moves me. I know for a fact that Karina is working to earn money because she and her husband are raising their granddaughter. They've got her in a special school because she has special needs and it's making a difference. Her progress has been enormous in the short time she's been in that school. And it's because of Karina and Mike and their dedication and their intention and their love for Leanne. And that moves me. And I know it moves Karina and I know it moves you to hear that. So you have to talk about your goal. People want to support people with a goal. This is off the rails. What does going to Hawaii with your husband have to do with helping a special needs child? These are two completely different things and two completely different books. They're not even not on the same page. They're not in the same book. Where am I? And believe me, they'd far rather support you than some big box store. 
everyone is washing their face with something. No shit, Sherlock. They can get it from you, a person they know with a goal, or they could get it at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS. Which one matters most? I know I'm pausing a lot. I can't help it. I have things to say. So if you're somebody in that situation and I knew you personally, I would be more motivated to just donate money to you through a GoFundMe or send you Venmo, whatever it is that you're looking to raise funds for. I would be more motivated to do it that way than to purchase products through an MLM. If you are somebody who had to take on a special needs child that is not your own and you needed to find ways to fund things like that. There are a multitude of crowdfunding sources out there that people are going to be more willing to donate toward than they would be willing to buy a Mary Kay face wash. And you will get more of the funds from just the crowdsource funding. What the fuck? We know it's small business. We know it is. But if we are not distinguishing ourselves by telling people what our goal is and they're in the grocery store or the drugstore, they'll throw a cleanser in their cart and not think twice about it. But I guarantee you, if Karina was my consultant and I went to pick up a facial peel at Target, I'd go, wait a minute. No, I'm going to call Karina because Karina and Mike are raising money for Leanne's school. And it's so incredible what they have done to get legal custody of her. And I know that this is something that they are passionate about. I wanna help Karina. And I would buy from Karina. But you guys, it is not selfish to keep your goal out there. You are inviting people to support you. Think of it that way. You're not being pushy. You're inviting them to support you. It doesn't mean they will or they have to, but invite them for heaven's sakes. I was at church on Sunday and these two darling girls who are the daughters of a couple in our small group came up and said, Miss Brittany, do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Now, for those who don't know, I am losing weight. I'm so proud of myself. I've lost over 20 pounds since November. Part of it was because I was sick for three weeks and I got a head start and Jesus went, go ahead, girl, you just keep on going. Shout out to her for working on her health. I love to hear people working on their health and taking it seriously. And so I have, but this is the deal. Do I need Girl Scout cookies? No. Will I eat them if they're in my house? Probably. But I wasn't going to say no to those adorable girls. And I said to them, what's your goal? Their sisters, one of them said, Miss Brittany, my goal is 500 boxes. And the other one said, my goal is a thousand. And so between John and I, we bought cookies from both of them. You guys, it matters. If they had just told me they were selling cookies and not shared their goal, then who knows? I probably would have bought some anyway. But what I love is I said, well, how close are you? And neither of them knew. Now they're young. And I said, girls, let me give you a tip. When people say, how close are you? How many more do you need? You're going to say, I need a few more. I need a few more. Even if you don't know your exact number, just say more than I have so far. I need more. And you guys, you can say the same thing to your client. When they say, how close are you to Hawaii? How many faces do you need? You say, I need a few more. Who do you know? I need a few more. Tell all your friends. I need a few more. Your business means the world to me. So let's talk then about now that we're putting our goal out there, do you know your numbers and do you know where to get them? As a leader, I'm going to tell you my numbers for the last week and for this month and for the quarter, because I think that it would be crazy for me to expect you to do anything I'm not doing. So last week, I sold $593. For the month so far, I've sold $1,762.50. And for this quarter, since December 16th, I've sold $6,367. So hooray for me being candid and authentic with you and telling you my numbers. But I So for a whole quarter of a year, she sold over $6,000, but she's only getting 50% of that profit. So maybe a little over 3,000 before taxes for three months, over 20 years in Mary Kay. I'll just let that sink in. I want you to know your numbers. So I'm gonna screen share again. We're gonna go back to InTouch and we're going to take a peek so I know that you know that we know. And just so everyone knows. Where to find your numbers. So we're on InTouch and we're on the InTouch homepage. So we're gonna go back to the InTouch homepage. There we go. So when you are on the InTouch homepage, you want to go to the category called at a glance. It should be right here, but if not, you can also go to business tools and drop down to my business and then at a glance. So we're going to go to at a glance and you're gonna to get to see my numbers and that's fine with me because again, I'm leading by example. So when you get on your page, 
when you look over here on the right hand side, you're going to click on personal and you're going to get a little bar graph. Now, if you are somebody who doesn't like graphs, two things to see the real numbers. You can hover over or you can click on show numbers and it'll show you your exact numbers. So I'm going to go back to the graph. So this is telling me how much wholesale I have ordered in each of these months and I can see that. But it's also, if I scroll up to the top, going to tell me where I am for the current star quarter. And it's telling me, congratulations for achieving Ruby Star Consultant status. So I know where I am so far, but Ruby Star is not my goal. My goal is Pearl, which is 48. Is she showing her whole back office in this video? I don't, I've. I haven't done my Mary Kay deep dive at this point, and I don't really know how to break this down or else I would. But I just wanted to point that out that I, I see all of these numbers, <laughs> but I'm not super familiar with the back end of Mary Kay. So I can't break it down for us at this point. But I will save this for my Mary Kay deep dive so that we can break it down in the future. So I know that I need to subtract 4,800 wholesale and take this number where I am right now and figure out how much more I need. Now you'll see it's doing the math for me and it's telling me I only need 232.50 more wholesale by March 15th to get to Diamond Star. But again, I'm thinking way bigger than that. So at a glance is where you can find your numbers. But here's what I want you to know. The reason I told you that story about Karina was not to make Karina cry. It was to remind Karina of her goal. Have you ever heard that expression that a true friend will sing your song back to you when you've forgotten the words? That's my privilege and honor and pleasure as your director is to sing your song back to you. But I can't sing you your song if I don't know what it is. And so the first thing I want you to write down about that is you have to know your why. And I will tell you that your why will change. When I come in, came into Mary Kay, my why was to make $100 a week for paint and carpet and mini blinds in our new house. My why has shifted many times over the years. Right now, my why is saving money for Grayson's college tuition. Why, 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 just why? Why do we need a why? Why do we need such a deep why every four months? Why can't it just be, I need to make money? <laughs> that's it. Like, that's why we work, to make money, to pay bills, to do things. We don't have to have this big why that's going to make us cry because oftentimes in MLMs, you'll hear them refer to your why as something that should make you cry. That's just not necessarily true. We don't need to be that deep about why we're making money. We're making money because we need it to live. That's why enough. Then you have to identify your win. So the first step is know your why. The second step is identify your win. In other words, what's the win that will get you to the why? Write that down. What's the win that will get you to the why? It's not enough for Karina in this example or me in this example to say, well, my why is my son's college tuition. Okay, great. That's a powerful why. But now we need to quantify it. So I need to identify my win. I know that by being a pearl star this quarter by March 16th, I know how much I need to make that happen. And whatever the wholesale amount is it takes to hit that goal is the same amount of profit that I will realize in that time frame, right? Because whatever I sell, I make half. So if I need a little over 2,000 wholesale, that's what my profit will be in that time frame. And that moves me. Okay, so then step three, step one, know your why. Step two, identify your win. Is it being a star consultant? Is it being a sore like never before achiever? What is it? Step three then is plan your work. Plan your work. We know the why. We've identified the win. My why is my son's college tuition. My win is being a pearl star. A what? This quarter to put another $2,000 in the bank for that goal. What is my plan? This is where a lot of people fall short. They know the why, they know the win, but they don't have a plan. Have you heard what Mary Kay Ash always said? Plan your work and then what? That's right, work your plan. So what is my plan? Well, I tell you all the time in the emails that I send you about being a star that I would break down your goal by hundreds. 
So if I know that I need to sell 4,000 and I divide that by 100 a face, that's probably 40 faces. Now, that sounds really huge to me between now and March 15th. Anybody else? That sounds like, whoa, 40 faces. Brittany, it's almost the end of February. But then I say to myself, okay, well, how many people could I have around my dining room table? I could have eight. That means if I hold five parties with a hostess who gathers up seven more friends, just five, if I do that between now and March 15th, I'm probably going to hit that goal. And here's what I know. I average more like 200 a face. So it probably won't take 40. It'll probably take 20. Do I think I can see 20 faces between now and March 15th? I absolutely do. The introverts listening to this are like, no, please don't make me do that. Please. No, God, no. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of people in your house. Oh, that's a lot. So that would be how I would plan my work. Now, if you know your numbers, let's say you need $1,000 in sales between now and March 15th. You might think, okay, that's 10 faces. But maybe you're thinking, Brittany, I don't know if I have 100 a face. Then maybe you better say, well, let me shoot for 15 faces so that if I get a little bit less than 100 a face, I'll still meet my goal. We know our why. We identify our win. We plan our work. And now we work the plan. So what does that look like? Well, I want to revisit something so amazing that Kelsey designed for us based on an idea from National Sales Director Kristen Sharp. And after 20 plus years in the business, this changed my life. Now, you guys, I don't put out tools, as I said earlier, that I don't personally use. And I use this every month. I keep one of these running at all times. So I'm so excited to screen share and show this to you. It's what we call an ABC leads tracker. This is what it looks like, an ABC leads tracker. Let's talk about what is an A lead, a B lead, and a C lead. Some of you have heard it. We need to hear it again. An A lead is someone you already, already starts with A. It does. It really does. Have a relationship with. If I'm MJ, this could be someone I work with or my neighbor. I already know them. I already have a relationship with them. That makes them an A lead. And so on this tracking sheet, and by the way, it's double-sided. It goes all the way up to 50. You're going to put their name and phone number on the sheet. So what's a B lead? A B lead is someone you know because of the person in the A column. For instance, let's say MJ books an appointment with someone she already knows who's on her A-list. Maybe it's her coworker, Susie. She has heard Susie talk about her daughter, but she's never met her. Susie's daughter would go on the B lead list because MJ is going to meet that person because of someone she A already knows. Get it? Another way that you could add people to the B list column is referrals. If I'm Karina and I'm at an appointment and I am facialing three women, it's a skincare class, three or more as a class, and they give me referrals, I'm going to get to meet those women because of the people I A, already knew at my appointment. So any referrals go in the B lead column. Now, remember, you don't even have to know them yet, but they're people who you will get to because of the A people. Make sense? Think of it like a domino. The A person tips into the B person. So then what is a C lead? Well, many of you heard my story on Saturday and saw the pictures of me with a naked face at the car wash. It was one of those Saturdays, those rare Saturdays where I did not have a Mary Kay appointment. And so I'll show you the picture again, just in case you missed it. Uh, here I am in my car. I didn't even have a bra on, if we're being honest. What the f is happening? I had a sweatshirt and my puffer on. I know I'm real. How about that, y'all? You couldn't tell because, you know, not much to see. Please stop. Okay, so here I am. Not a stitch of makeup, sunglasses, ball cap, sweatpants. Now, let's be clear. I still look cute, or at least I thought I did, right? Birkenstocks, and we're off to the car wash. And when I pulled around, there were these four really sweet women standing at the entrance to the car wash. And I thought, have they started like getting spokes models at the car wash? But no, they were from the local Navy Chiefs Association wives group. And they said, hey, if you get the full shebang car wash today or whatever they call it, then we get $5. And I said, well, I wasn't going to get that wash today, but I'll donate $5. And I dropped it in their bucket and I pulled through the wash. And after I vacuumed out my car, I thought, 
Okay, Brittany Mitchell, what would you tell your consultants to do? Get your buns over there and talk to these women. So I walked over and I said, ladies, I'm with Mary Kay. And normally I look a whole lot cuter than this. I would love to text you my digital business card with my picture so you can see that I really normally do look cuter than this. And I would love to treat you to a free pampering package with a facial and makeover. So if that sounds like fun, I'd love to get your number so I can text you my business card. They said it did sound like fun because who wouldn't think it was fun? And I texted them my number and I said, I know you're here doing your fundraiser now, but I'll reach out later today. I reached out and texted them later that day. We've been playing back and forth, but I will be booking them for appointments. No, 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 no. These women were there doing a fundraiser for something that involves the U.S. military. And she decides to go up to them and offer them a free facial and makeover. We all know it's not free because it's a pitch. And they probably know that, which is why you haven't maybe booked them yet. I hope to God they don't schedule an appointment because they don't need this shit in their life. No, no. Oh my God. No, don't do this. Wow. Also, these lights are getting so hot. So if you see me fanning myself while we're watching the rest of this, no, you don't. Just ignore it, okay? Those are C leads. C leads are cold leads. I don't have a relationship with them. I don't know them through someone I know, like the B leads. They're genuinely a cold lead. It could be someone you meet who's your waitress at a restaurant, never laid eyes on her before. It could be someone you strike up a conversation with in a store or meet at a car wash on a Saturday in your puffer and sweatshirt and no makeup and sunglasses and your ball cap. Those are your C leads. Now, here's why this matters. You ready? When you are working on a goal, and you know your why, and you've identified your win, and you've planned your work, and now you're ready to work your plan. You need people to work the plan with. And so you're going to always want to start with your A leads. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. I've already worked through my A leads. No, you haven't. And I'll tell you how I know that. Because after 22 years, I'm still adding people to my A list all the time. All the time. In fact, just this week, I got a text after church on Sunday, didn't know who it was from, didn't have the number saved in my phone. And it was someone who said, I assume you're still doing Mary Kay, right? No idea who it was. And I texted, sure am. So sorry. I don't have your number saved. Tell me who this is. Turned out it was my friend, Abby from church. She's my friend at church, but we don't hang out together. She's someone I know, but we don't get together with our spouses. I know her from church. I see her on Sunday. And Abby said, you know, my 43rd birthday is coming up. And I thought, oh, I really need someone to help me do my eye makeup for a hooded eye. And I bet Brittany could teach me. We have an appointment, long story short, tomorrow for a makeover because of that text. Now, Abby is an A-lead. Did I have her on my list? No. And this is how I know that you have people in your life who could be on your A-list. A, I already know Abby, which also starts with an A. She should have been on my list. And so the reason you want to keep that ABC list near your date book, near your phone at all times is when you see people you know, when you bump into people you know, when you think of someone you know, you know you better check that list and see if they're A already on it. And if they're not, you add them to the list. Now, the funny thing is Abby is the daughter of one of my very good clients and her mom, of course, was on my A list, but I never put Abby on there, even though I A already know her. So you've got to be constantly saying to yourself, who should be on my A list? And here's the key. A leads, when you book them, hold at a 60% hold rate. Write that down. No, I won't be doing that. So we're saying that everybody you know should be somewhere on the list. They should be somewhere on your business lead list. Well, that's a weird way to run a business. Just also don't do that. We're just going over everything we don't want to be doing in life. And that is another thing that we don't want to be doing. I don't want my friends and family to be somebody that is just on my leads list. No, I'm not looking at my friends and family like that. Those are my friends and family. Those are people that are important to me in my life. They're not going on a list so I can bug them about an MLM or any business for that matter. Not anymore. I am sorry for the people that I did that to. I'm so sorry for being a person like this for a short period of time. Thank God, but I'm so sorry. A leads hold at a 60% hold rate. Some of you are like, oh, I don't want to work with people I know. I'd rather work with strangers or, you know, I don't know. 
You guys, I'm telling you right now, you have got to get off your buns and not chicken out and call the people on your A-list. They're more likely to say yes, and they're more likely to hold. In fact, statistics show that while it's important to have B and C leads, they will hold at far less, far lower a rate than those A leads, which means I might only need to call five people to get five bookings from my A-list. I might have to call 10 to 12 or even 15 of my B list. And would you believe I might have to call 20 people on the C list to get a booking or two? Which one sounds like less work? Which one sounds like more fun? And which would you rather do? Not telling you not to get referrals, they're great. Not telling you not to talk to people at the car wash, the grocery store, the bank line, that's great too. But those A leads are where it's at, especially when you're working on a goal. So words that work. What do I say? I don't know what to say, Brittany. Let me give you a little refresher. We have an incredible unit website. So let's go there now and remind ourselves where all the booking scripts you could ever need for the rest of your life live on our website. Here's our page. And we're going to come over to training. And there's two categories new consultant training and booking training. You're going to click on booking training. And when you come onto this page, lo and behold, look at all the goodies Brittany has for you. Booking scripts. You can click right on it and it has all the latest booking scripts you could want. What to say to book a makeover. What to say to book a referral. What to say to book restaurant leads, vendor leads. What to say to them in a confirmation email. It's all there. Then we imagine talking to somebody and you can tell they're like reading off a script. Yikes. We have a bubble sheet and I am obsessed with the bubble sheet. This is how you track your efforts. You guys, sometimes consultants will say, well, I've made a bunch of phone calls and no one has booked. And my question is going to be, how many is a bunch? And if you don't know, you're probably not using the bubble sheet. Here's why I love it. It quantifies your work and proves to you how many calls it takes to get a booking. So you'll see there are little bubbles. You're going to put someone's first name below a bubble. You put a slash mark when you get her voicemail. You put a horizontal line when you send her a text. You put an X when you actually reach her live and talk to her and you color in the bubble when you book an appointment. Now, this sheet was created by a national sales director and her national area. They tracked it for two years. There are 56 bubbles on the sheet. They found that for every 56 bubbles that you mark off in one way or another, phone call, text, talk to them live and in person or live on the phone, that you are going to get at least eight bookings for every 56 bubbles. Now, I'm here to tell you that I have gotten way more than that, but don't stop. Sometimes I'll get to 30 bubbles and I'll have my eight bookings. Do not stop. That just means you're ahead of the curve. I know that may sound obvious, but in my mind, I went, well, now I can stop. I have eight bookings. That's not why she told us that you would get at least eight bookings out of 56 bubbles. She was telling us that because she wanted you to understand that if you are making four or five calls and telling your director, me, that you're not getting any bookings, I'm going to say two powerful words to you. Keep going. Keep going keep going. But you will be frustrated if you don't track it because you'll feel like you're doing so much work. Are you though? The great thing about tracking is it will prove to you that you are 10 feet from gold. Have you ever seen that little cartoon of a man and he's digging underground with a pickaxe and he's digging and he's digging and he gets all the way down this tunnel and gets frustrated. He hasn't found gold and he turns around and leaves. And what he can't see that we can see in the cartoon is 10 feet further down the tunnel was a giant pot of gold. This sheet, you guys, will take you to your pot of gold. There's no pot of gold to be had in Mary Kay. None of it is there, allegedly, in my opinion. So also on our website, besides the bubble sheet, besides the booking scripts, is a contact tracker. This is great to print out and put in a three ring binder. And what I love about this, you can print it double sided. If you have lead slips, that you've gotten at a vendor event like Karina and Tammy and Maureen and Lauren and I did in December, you don't need to recopy it in here. Just tape it in. You can tape it on this side and then let's zoom in. Look, it says, was this a bridal lead, a warm chat, a drawing from a vendor event? Was it a referral? And then look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces for you to fill in the date and time you tried to reach that person. That's right. 
seven spaces. Why? Because research shows that seven touches is what it might take to get a booking. Case in point, recently Maureen had a lead and she had reached out and booked her and the woman needed to reschedule. She reached out again and the woman couldn't pick a date. She reached out again. Finally, Maureen said, Brittany, she wants a Monday. It's a holiday. I can't do it. Can you do it? I said, sure. And I held that appointment as a dovetail, which we talked about last week. Go back and watch that. If you missed that training, it was really powerful. Very important skill, dovetailing. So the reason I tell you that is because sometimes you all are saying, well, I reached out to a bunch of people and no one's responding back. And you made one touch. Maybe you sent her a text. Maybe you left her a voicemail. Maybe you talked to her at work and you're counting that as, well, yeah, I didn't hear back from her. I'm going to respectfully ask you, is it your business or her business? It's your business. So whose responsibility is it to do another layer, another touch? It's yours. Oh, I don't want to bug people, though. Listen to me carefully. The only people who aren't afraid to be pushy are pushy people. And none of you are pushy people. And neither am I. And I'll never teach you to be pushy. But I will teach you to be persistent and professional. If you were supposed to have a dentist appointment and you didn't show up, they would call to reschedule your cleaning and they would call more than once and they would probably call again and you would be excited. Have you ever had someone call you and say, hey, girl, sorry, I missed you. Listen, I'll try you again tomorrow. And you thought, oh, good. I don't have to call her back. She's going to call me. That's what other people think. And so if you're sitting around waiting for the phone to ring, here are some words to help you. Whenever you leave a message or send a text, simply say this to leave the ball in your own court. Sorry, I missed you. I'm sure you're as busy as I am. If I don't hear back from you, I'll try you again tomorrow. Sorry, I missed you. I'm sure you're as busy as I am, which is code for, hey, I'm busy too. If I don't hear back from you, I'll try you again tomorrow. Not give me a call. Shoot me a message back. Give me a ring because they probably won't. And it isn't because they don't love you. It's because everyone's busy. Or it's because... They don't want to do anything with Mary Kay. Sometimes people are just trying to let you down easy and they want to do that without being pushed because that's what it is, pushed seven times. And it's not their business, it's yours. It's not as high a priority to them as it is to you. But if you use those words, now the ball is solidly in your hand and your court and you get to take the next step. Once again, sorry I missed you. I'm sure you're as busy as I am. If I don't hear from you by this time tomorrow, I'll just try you again. Now, you're not going to feel pushy at all because you made her a promise, didn't you? You said you'd try her again. I love these words for that reason. It gives me license and permission to be professional and do what I said I would do. When I meet someone at a vendor event, when I get a referral, I always put a clock on myself, just like a timestamp on a gallon of milk in the fridge. I don't want it to start stinking, just like a sour gallon of milk. So if I say, hey, I'll be reaching out to those referrals within the next 48 hours, I've just spoken that out loud and it makes me do it because I said I would. You're welcome for that tip. Okay, so let's do some quick recognition and then I want to hear your wins for the week. But just to recap, put your goal out there. Know your numbers. Find them on InTouch and if you can't find them, reach out to me. Then know what you're working for. Know your why. Identify your win. Plan your work and work your plan. Let the ABC list help you revisit people you could reach out to, to book and use the words that work from our website. Everything you need is at your disposal. I want to say that again. Everything you need is at your disposal. Good God. That team never really disappoints. There's always some interesting tidbits that come out of those trainings. But now it's time for our palate cleanser. TikTok hates your bullshit. If this video found you, it's a sign. I don't use captions. I don't use hashtags. You found your soulmate. This person's your twin flame. Twin flame. <laughs> Spirit, you're being cheeky. Knock, knock. It's your life partner. Oh, ace of abandonment issues. You have manifested this love. You have manifested this love. This person wants to reach out to you. Yeah, they've just been super busy with work. This love only exists in fairy tales. Dogs barking. You are, the dog days are over. 
I'm getting chills. I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. Ace of period cup. Joker. He likes to joke around. He is a joker prankster. Emperor of gaslight. You found a home in his heart. The chariot. He's gonna sweep you off your feet. He's never been with another woman. He's practicing celibacy. He's saving himself. This person could either be a Cancer, a Leo, a Gemini, a Capricorn, an Aquarius. The month January, February, March, April, May, June, or July are going to be really important. Have you not been scrolling on TikTok and come across some random tarot card reader like that where it's like, this was meant for you. You were supposed to be here. Now, before we wrap it up real quick, I just want to say one more thing. I am holding true to the promise that I made. Uh, I think it was last month that if I hit 10,000 subscribers by July 1st, 2024, I'm going to be getting a low taper fade undercut and the channel just hit 4,000. Wasn't expecting that at all. So if you're not subscribed and you want to see me get a low taper fade undercut, make sure you hit subscribe. Also like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me while I talk a bunch of shit and I will see you in the next one.